Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print out and make your own folder cases that feature hamburger designs on them. And uh, this is sort of a series of kind of gift wrapping items that I create for you guys that feature the same kind of theme of patterns. So if you're interested in having a whole bunch of things all with the same kind of theme and pattern, then you can print them all together for you know, special celebrations, parties, birthdays, those kinds of things. So, um, and I've been kind of doing a food series. We had uh, ice cream before, and I've been working on the hamburgers here, and we also have some cakes coming up, so look for those. But uh, this is the last kind of in the hamburger series here. This is a really fun, uh, one of my favorite or traditional origamis. It's just an, an, a folder case, and there's just so many like little pockets that you can use to put things in uh, that everywhere, so it's really of a fun origami, and it makes this kind of cute little book so you can use it for so many things. And the patterns here, there's four different kinds of hamburgers. There's a double cheeseburger, a chicken burger, a deluxe burger, and a little fish burger. And I'm going to show you guys how to fold stuff with that. So let me kind of move these guys to the side so I can show you how to make this. When you download the PDF and open it up, you'll notice that this origami has two sheets of paper in it. The first one is a larger, regular, rectangular sheet of paper that we use. And then this is a little insert paper that you can put in at the end to kind of make things look a little cleaner when you're finished. So once you've cut this out, what we want to do is starting with the color side facing down, I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half, open it up, and then we're just going to take each of these sides and fold it towards the center. And when you do this, you want to kind of keep an eye on where this pattern meets the edge here because you don't want you know, too much white showing. And it's okay, actually, if a little bit of the center is showing, that's okay. So we'll just get that folded in. We'll do the same thing on this side too. And we're just going to open everything up. And I'm going to take each of the four sides and fold towards that crease I just made to create this nice little triangle. Now you don't want to get too close to that point because we are going to be folding this back over and if you've gotten too close then it can kind of get in the way. So you want to be careful of that. I'll go ahead and do that for all of these here. And then once all four have been folded in you're just going to return these back to the center like I mentioned. And then we're just going to go ahead and flip everything over. Having it kind of going long ways like this now, what we're going to do is take one side, the right side here, and I'm just going to roll it over so that I can create a crease right where these triangles meet. Now this should be really easy because the triangle we folded underneath will create an edge for you to just fold right up against. So it should just be real natural. Make sure these are stretching out so that these both of these sides meet at the top and bottom to make a nice smooth edge. Turn it around and we'll do the same thing on this side too. Try to kind of push it over so that you don't have too much of the other pattern from the other side revealing there. And then we're just going to take each of these tips and fold it inside. And fold it in half and you have your completed folder origami. Now if you are using this in a thing where you're going to like put a photo in here or a nameplate or something, you don't necessarily need to include this, but if you want to kind of finish things off and make it look a little cooler, you can use this insert. What you want to do is with the color side facing up, fold it in half, and then we're just going to slide it into here to kind of create a nice clean finish so you don't have to look at this part. I'm just going to slide into one side first, get this shimmied all the way back to the back. There we go. And then take the other side. You have to kind of start from far back a little bit to get it going right. But then if you just put a little pressure on it with your thumb, you can slide the paper up in there until it goes all the way into the back. And then get this center crease lined up in the middle and fold it in half and you have your completed little folder case. Like I said, these make great little containers. You can use them as place cards, name cards of little photo frame. You can um, put uh, money, uh, different kinds of uh, things in there. So many different fun uses. I really like these. They're, they're great to just have around and put some little scrap paper in here for memos and stuff. So lots of fun uses for it, for sure. 
and all with this kind of fun uh, food pattern of hamburgers. So uh, again, this is a free downloadable on my website. You just go to the link in the description below. You can also click on the little information icon throughout the video and that'll take you to my website as well. And um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.